Hi Libra, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading. I hope the sound works. Um, I'm sorry I'm not going live for your reading. Uh, go and have a look at um, Leo if it's out and because um, I've put something in the chat I will quickly um, mention it here because this um, I've been doing all the readings in life so that you could uh, experience what it's like to see the video unedited and with my mistakes um, because I'm only human I'm only a channel and it's good to see you back my cyber angels um, I will be going live next week because I would like to make a discussion uh, issue of this reading and see whether it resonates with you because I would like to interact more with you not just pulling cards but really talk to you and see uh, whether you have a question what does this card mean how do you get to the definition of that card or um, why have you chosen these decks things like that it will come uh, questions will come from this reading and like I always say I give you food for thought because these are general readings and I'm trying to um, stimulate and motivate uh, people to see uh, from a different uh, from a different perspective let me put it that way and to see what energy is around you and I find it fascinating myself to read the cards as you know and I would like to uh, stimulate people to be more aware of what is happening around them and to talk about it what can you do about it that's the other side of me the life coach that's coming out and thank you very much for being here cyber angels because you make this channel not only just me all the cards but your reactions your feedback what can I do better perhaps that is a suggestion that you can make how can I make it more interesting for you that is it in a nutshell but if you have a look at cancer uh, or uh, um, uh, Capricorn or uh, Aquarius then you will get the general idea of what I'm going to do I'm going to go live and I'm going to um, treat or I'm going to handle each zodiac uh, apart. I don't know whether I'm going to do it um, in one big time or that I'm going to do it in three times because I'll need a break to go to the loo and have a drink as well, a water or a coffee. So I most probably will do it in short periods. So uh, please hit that subscribe button and the bell and hit on all um, so that you will be notified because I'm going to start doing this around Friday and then see whether uh, Monday, Wednesday and Friday resonates with you or the whole reading as the energy will be uh, circulating around the whole week. Okay, and then after... Um, I've done one zodiac sign and I'm open to questions, readings, uh, live on YouTube. Uh, please donate and then I will answer your specific question privately because your questions are first of all with regard to the reading. Uh, I will make my own questions and my own suggestions. Then I've done that for every zodiac sign and um, then I go into questions with super chats but I will go live on Friday, Monday, Wednesday and Friday next week see how it goes on next Friday if I'm not too tired because I will switch on my extra psychic ability okay uh, let's get down to the reading shall we I hope you are safe and that you are uh, trying to make the best of the lockdown perhaps you enjoy the lockdown in the sense that you have more time with your family um, because here in Holland uh, when you have a family and you live at home that is a unit not that you can mingle with your next door neighbor or friends that's uh, not allowed so I hope you are trying to make the best of it and this is also a little bit food for thought perhaps this might make you think what can I change what can I uh, take with me from the old way of life into the new way of life why uh, enjoy your life a little bit more um, perhaps we can um, 
through our interactions, we can make our connection even better than what it is already. That is my main aim. I love to do this and like I said, I would like to interact a little bit more. Now, um, I'm going to go a little bit deeper into the cards, like uh, uh, the big arcana represents zodiac signs. Uh, most of you most probably already know, because if you follow me, then you will have heard me say this before. And the king, queens and pages also represent uh, zodiac signs. Now, the Queen of Rods, or the Queen of Wands, or Staves, as she is known, she also represents Leo. Um, it's usually the first sign is the King, and the first house is April. Um, the second house is uh, Taurus, so April would be the King of Wands. Uh, sorry, yes, April, Aries, and Taurus would be the king of pentacles, and the Gemini would be the king of swords, and so on, so on. So here we are, we have the second sign, this is the queen, the second down, so she is the uh, um, Leo, she represents, because that's the second fire sign in the house, or the astrological house. So you might be meeting um, a Leo um, Libra, but don't exclude Sagittarius or Aries, as they are also a fire sign, and they are people that know what they want and they go for it. They come into action and they're creative enough to, um, to think up a solution to get what they want. They definitely know what they want. You, if they've got an idea, no wild horses can drag them away. This fire sign that you are meeting, Libra, or that you could be meeting, it could be you, that has got fire in your sign, as the hour charts um, exist out of the sun sign, which this is, your rising sign, your ascendant in other countries, it's called ascendant, or your moon sign. You might have fire in your chart and you might want something desperately and you're going for it. Perhaps you want to be more psychic, perhaps more intuitive or high, highly sensitive. Perhaps you want to keep your emotions under control. This is the High Priestess and um, she represents the moon. Now, to me, the moon uh, represents cancer, but she is the moon goddess, also known as the moon goddess. So she represents Pisces. Your intuition, your um, whilst you're sitting quietly and contemplating or meditating, you might be getting new ideas. And uh, you're very sensitive. Perhaps it could be about love. Could, you could be into uh, intuition. Um, you're using your intuition and listening to your emotions. Um, but you need to be a little bit more like the Queen of Fire, coming into action, be more businesslike. She is somebody that knows what she wants and she will tell you what she wants and expect it. Okay, so um, perhaps your emotions are running high um, as to what you want if you are not the queen of wands. You might be meeting her. This person could be also more psychic, uh, more intuitive. Okay. Then you also have the queen of pentacles. And the queen of pentacles is, uh, she also is known as Mother Earth. Now, the queen of pentacles, um, she, the second sign of, uh, is Virgo. <clears throat> the queen of pentacles is also Virgo. So this, um, this could be a Virgo, but don't exclude, um, Capricorn or Taurus, as they are the other uh, signs, but it is prominent that it could be a Virgo. You might be meeting a Virgo Libra. You've got two queens here, so there are new uh, ladies coming into 
uh, your life. This could be your best friends that are closed off because we have the four of pentacles here and we are in a lockdown so that is closed off but you could be closed off i'll get back to that in a minute now the queen of pentacles she represents uh, fertility birth birth of a baby birth of a new project work um, hobby um, and it takes time to grow and she nurtures it so it grows and so it can uh, blossom and then you can harvest um, and perhaps you uh, are doing that yourself at this moment you might want to get pregnant if you don't want to get pregnant then take precautions but you might be becoming a grandmother you might get news uh, that if you are a mature lady that you are becoming an aunt or a grandmother or anything else she has green fingers and her husband has the golden touch the midis touch so anything that she nurtures and uh, she loves and cares about will grow into something beautiful um, she is a giving lady but she also knows when to hold on now perhaps you might have two friends, best friends, uh, that is a Sagittarius, Aries or a Leo or a Virgo, Capricorn or a Taurus. And uh, like I said, you might be closed off or locked off or locked down uh, because of the situation at hand uh, uh, globally. But this card basically means you are a miser or you are being stingy. Besides that, this card re, uh, for me also means that you are closed off. You've closed your mind to fresh ideas, new ideas, new possibilities. As this is the Queen of Pentacles, birth, there's new possibilities. You've closed your mind, you've closed your sight. He's even wearing a pair of glasses because he's short-sighted. So that's the word that's coming in. You've closed your heart chakra, your solar plex. You're not enjoying life anymore you're not enjoying your situation uh, i can understand that in this situation but you've also closed off the outside world the uh, the ground so you've closed off your chakras no angels can get to you the divine cannot get to you and can help you in support you in your emotions or what you want or wish for so here the message is open up. If you are being tight with money, then lessen, uh, loosen the purse strings a bit if you've been spending too much, because everything has got an opposite side. If you've been spending too much, tighten the purse strings, but open yourself up to love and care and nurturing. And to action, new possibilities. Get into yourself. Go and meditate. By all means, get that stability back. Again, you've got the Four of Pentacles on Friday. So that's the same meaning as that Four of Pentacles. Open up. Don't stay closed off. It will bring, uh, you might be going through a difficult time and we all are going through a difficult time. So perhaps the message of this video is realize that you're not alone this is a difficult time for everybody the nine means there is a closure there's an end of a phase and a new beginning so you are resting here and you're looking in front of you which is great you're, you're not wearing a blindfold like in the eight of swords um, or in the two of ones um, you are watching out what is happening there is a new beginning coming but it could come sooner if you open up your heart because it doesn't have to cost any money to be aware and open emotionally and lovingly with your heart now you've got a beautiful card and you've got the star card now, if you follow me, then you know what I always say with the star. This is a wish or a goal coming true. And that is at the weekend. You could also be meeting an Aquarius, as the star card means or represents also Aquarius. 
Look at this. This is the Six of Swords. You are moving away from troubled waters. Look at the back of the water. A boat is here and you are moving away from this period. Like I said, it's closing off and you might be going on holiday or moving home. You're going into peaceful waters. Look at the peaceful waters just there. Here you can see waves rough and here you can see peaceful smooth waters. The overall energy is the death card. It doesn't mean a death. Again, it's confirming this is the overall energy, an end of a phase, a new beginning. The white blossom. Something is coming to fruition. You're no longer the caterpillar. You are the butterfly. The death card also represents Scorpio. So let's re, uh, recalculate or analyze which people are here for you. You've got the Queen of Rods, um, which is Leo. Then we have the Queen of Coins, which is Virgo. Then we have Scorpio. So these three months might be very significant for you. Um, so it could be either uh, personally that uh, uh, these three people are significant, but it could also be that the time of the when your wish is coming true, if it's not coming true now, could be um, um, August, September and October. I had this with another reading. It's either Aries or uh, Taurus as well. Uh, there were three cards that were prominent. It was a three month situation and that is a quarter. So uh, you've got the three months that is January, February, uh, February, March. Then you've got April, May and June. Then you've got July, August, September. And then you've got October, November, December. So that's a full quarter. It might take a quarter. That could also be significant. But something could be happening in August for you, September or October. So perhaps you are starting something and uh, it will come to fruition uh, in one of those months. You've got recognition. OK, you've uh, come from a four and gone to a three. The three of coins means that you have been working hard and you've been diligent. You are getting a recognition for your hard work. Perhaps you've been working on yourself. Perhaps you needed time to close yourself off, to get to know yourself, what you want uh, spiritually or standing in your strength. Perhaps you are now balanced uh, spiritually. And I mean that either in faith religiously or spiritually, emotionally or, or psychic wise or having more faith in yourself, being self-assured, like the Queen of Wands. It takes a lot of work to have self-assurance uh, and to trust yourself in what you want and to do. So you might have become a person through hard work to get where you want to go, getting the recognition and you're standing in your strength and you're being balanced. So now you can open up your heart. In fact, you've opened up your heart so that you have worked hard and you're getting recognition. And it could come from a fire sign, an earth sign or a water sign. Express your love. Go ahead and make a romantic gesture. Perhaps you've been, uh, you've met somebody uh, of these signs and you've been working uh um, towards it to express your love. Perhaps you didn't have the nerve and that's why you closed off. And will I get married? Yes. Or will we come together or go up to the next level? Yes, it's a definite yes. There are two yeses in the deck and this one's got an exclamation. So it is definite. Perhaps you might be getting married or deciding to get married in August, September or October. 
uh, this would mean that you could take an extended reading and see privately whether it does apply to you the yes if you want to get married whether you are coming together if this reading in some way resonates remember it's a general reading and uh, so uh, general reading also in the live sessions it means that there is a lot of different energy and you won't get a clear answer you would need to have an extended private reading now you've got the angel jeremiah and Archangel Jeremiah, um, uh, he says, uh, problems over, uh, difficulties over one. You have over one your difficulties. And Archangel Jeremiah, it is in Dutch, so I will uh, translate it in English. The worst or the most difficult time is behind you now. Like I said, the nine is an ending. You've been through the walls. So, take on the challenge. Um, you've taken on every challenge in the past and you have over one. You are ready for this new beginning and you're going into smoothing, smoother waters. In other words, you have won over one every challenge that has been put in front of you. You might be tired and you've taken time out to recuperate and you've got a beautiful future ahead or a new beginning. It might have been at a delay because that is what I'm hearing, um, but it's coming true. So there you go. I love you all. Take care and I hope to see you in the live tonight and next week on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And to the, I will be going live Friday and Saturday next Monday because I'm handling or um, interacting uh, with doing this for every zodiac sign. I'll see you and I'll stay safe and I'll see you later. Take care, be blessed and love you. Please share and like and give us the thumbs up.